Hello guys! Andito na naman tayo. Mayroon na naman bagong scam na dumating sa roaming ko. No? Ito ay, dito ka magtataka eh, kung paano talaga nakakalusot ang mga scammer na ganito na kahit dito ka na sa ibang bansa, dami ka pa rin mga mga, ang Pinoy nga naman ano. Tingnan mo itong number na ito. Ito ay numero ng Pilipinas, which is plus 63, 96374. Okay. Ito ang na-receive ang, ang, ang ko na message. Ito. Yan. It is big good news. Is urgently reply me now. Yon. May email pa. Ngayon pinuntahan ko yung email na yon. Sinend ko. Tapos ito nang ano niya sa akin. Ito. Galing kay Mr. Mark Salidman. Man. Okay. Nakalagay dito. My dear greetings to you. You might be wondering how I contacted you without the knowledge of each other and I contacted you through an internet SMS service that works with a local communication company in order to maintain the needed confidentiality and security. For this reason, I want to communicate basically through an email needed confidentiality. Ah, no? Okay, now. Late Mr. Roberto Lucio Enrique lived and worked here in Scotland as a businessman and he deposited our bank the sum of 625,000 United States dollar as fixed deposited deposit for a period of two years in 2016. This deposit have matured and has not come for it since then. We have tried to reach him and could not. His telephone number cannot be reached sometimes on August 30th, 2019 by the heart attack while on a business trip to New York in the United States. In order to verify the truth of the matter, I went to New York to confirm he was dead. It is the sad story for the kind-hearted and generous person like him. This matter was not reported to our bank and normally in our bank in, uh, to away, is aware of this except me. Siya lang do talaga, no? I have, made uh, I have made inquiries at your embassy here in Scotland and in the United States and no information about him was found rather than his residence card for both the United States and Scotland. I have also checked our records. There is no information about him relating to the Philippines and did not put a nominee at the time he made the deposit. All this made it impossible for me to locate any of his relatives. Since this is the issue, I want you to apply as the beneficiary of the deceased to claim the deposit from our bank since it is believed he was from Philippines according to his name. I know there are a lot of Filipinos here in Scotland, but it is only someone in the Philippines that can successfully make he, this claim because of the way our banks works. It does not matter whether you know him or not. It does not matter if you have any kind of relationship with him or not. I will guide you all the way you make this claim. It is not a matter of being greedy or having bad morals. Um, it is not the best to leave the money to eventually end up in the hands of a few corrupt government officials while we have the opportunity to live better with it. This uh, transaction is a risk free transaction, and as the group had senior independent directors of our bank, the, finan the final approval of your application will be, be done by me. Once I approve it, you will have the right to claim the money. Diba? I want us to get deposit through you 
and share it to equal parts for each of us. Oh, hati daw kami. When the claim is made, eventually, will be done successfully and legally. It to equal parts for each of us. Oh, hati daw kami. When the claim is made, eventually, will be done successfully and legally. Talaga naman, ang galing na ang salita ninyo. Have no fear about this right now. I have all the copies of documents relating the deposit he made that you will file um, to back up this claim. All I all uh, I require is your sincerity and honest operation to enable us to make this claim successfully and we have to do with this and short time. Possible because the money will be reverted to the Treasurer Department account if not claimed now. If you are willing to do this with me, write back and shall inform you of to what to do next to make sure you receive the money. I am waiting for your consent in order to move to the next step toward getting the money. Thank you. Eh, di ba? Galing na? Kala mo po na yun, no? Now, nag-reply naman ako. Sabi ko, sige, I want to know more. And I agree for what you are doing. Now, sabi niya sa akin, nag-email siya ulit. Ito naman ang nakasulat. My dear partner. Oh, di ba? Naging partner kami instant, no? Agad-agad kami nag-partner. You have to take the transaction very seriously because it is very much legal and risk free. It should be kept confidential till the conclude and move the fund out of my bank here for our security reasons. I am certain that in less than 10 working days, oh, bilis ng process, the money will be on your account. Oh, wow. Huh? You will only have to follow actions or directives to avoid mistakes and the process of making the claim. The most important elements in these claims are confidentially, sincerity, cooperation, and trust. None of these should lack in both of us throughout the claim process in order to be successful or not. Do you not have to worry for any reason? Grabe. Makaloko lang lahat ng bagay gagawin. As I told you, sabi niya, earlier in my first uh, message, nangati ilong ko, akala ko, yayaman na ako. My name is Mr. Mark Seligman and I am from Scotland. I was born here and I have lived in Edinburgh for years with my family. Diyan daw siya na ipinanganak eh. Four years. I love my family so much and would not want to disappoint them for any reason. If I'm not sure of this transaction, I would not be doing it. Please take this transaction very seriously and be careful to avoid mistakes. Any emails you receive from our bank should first be forwarded to me so I can read it and advised on it before you give a reply a reply to it if needed be i may even write the email which you will be give will give back to our bank due to the time difference between here and to your country i do not see any chance of of our bank to call you uh, chance or but to calling you on your on your phone if however you are called if ever na you are called always tell them to send you an email claiming you do not understand this spoken english well this is basically to avoid being asked question you cannot give the right answers to and um, thereby Ano ba? Saan ako? 
and thereby uh, jeopardize our chances of getting the money. If you are called to if you are called to come in person to Scotland, tell them you cannot come because you are busy. Turuan pa ako si nungaling, si nungaling na siya. You are busy schedule, no? The interest is compounded yearly for the period of six years, now at the rate of four percent. The issue is clear. Your sincerely, Mr. Mark Seligman. Ngayon, nag-reply ako. Sabi ko, I, as, I accept your offer. Oh, let's see the next step. Tingnan ko kung magmi-message siya uli. And it should be the next video na aking gagawin. Ito yung first nag-send siya ng email. Uh, pangalawa, pangatlo, tapos eto na ngayon. Dito tayo mag-e-end. Ang reply niya, yun ang aking gagawin ulit. Uh, Bablog ko ulit. Sasakyan natin to. Kasi ito ay medyo English spokening eh. Sasakyan natin to. Alamin natin kung ano mangyayari. Okay guys, hanggang dito lang muna.